What we have here is the Pentax 6x7 with a 45 millimeter lens on it. There it goes. See that? Alright. It's good. Somebody sent me some new Farina P30 film. It's 36 exposures, which is quite long. And I want to try it with my panoramic adapter that I keep in this eyeglass case. The adapter comes in two pieces. This is for the gate and this is for the viewfinder. This is an old core of film with leader that I took off of a roll that I developed. Then when I went to develop the film I cut it and I left it on the take up core. It's taped like that. This is how much film had been wasted on a roll of film that I developed. This occurs when you wind the film in order to take the picture. Alright, there's four slugs here that center these things inside the camera. So the first thing I have to do is attach the leader to the film and then roll the leader into the can of film. My desk is quite cluttered. I've been doing a lot of motion picture tests. I haven't done this for a long time. Try to keep out of the way of the camera. The first thing I have to do is to remove the film and uh, it's not a butt joint. It was overlapped. See? There it is. I want to attach that to this. Yeah, I know my hand's probably in the way of the picture. It is. Alright, here I will line up these holes. Let's see. I got two on this side, and I've got a bunch on this side. Okay. Gotcha. I could just make this easy. And clip that off and it's a lot less to tape. Just put one more strip on this side. Okay. There we go. So I cut this off. I cut this off. Turn it over. And put a piece of tape on that. Now I'm not going to bend it over the edge. That makes it, I think, more difficult to get it off when, when you do have to remove it eventually. There. So, I'll hold it this way. Let's see, I could see that in the viewfinder. And I think if I turn this in the right direction, I'll wind the film up. <laughs> One assumes it's going in on the top. Yeah, there it goes. So I just wind that back in. 
That's probably filthy. Just wipe that with my hand. Okay. I had made marks as to you know how long it was, but I forget, so I will just put all of it in. I'm gonna have to pull it out to, to load the camera. And there it is. It's ready to be put into the camera. So I took off the lens, then I took off the viewfinder, and I hope that's the correct order. Don't quote me on that. But this is a light meter finder. And this is the, uh, the mask, the viewfinder, and you can see it's quite loose. It, it doesn't fit. And you have to put it like right in the middle, this way, horizontally. And what I like to do is I like to put a little teeny piece of scotch tape so that this is centered horizontally. Alright, the tape's been attached and uh, now it won't move. And it's tight this way, but it won't move this way. So now I could put this back on. I heard a click. And that's engaged, so looks like I'm ready to go. Well, this making of videos is a lot easier to make an instructional video than it is to do it on film. As you can see, there's nothing inside. All you do is slide this into this, onto this little notch. Try not to poke the curtain. Don't lose it. You just lay it in there. It doesn't move. It fits nicely. Okay? So you take out the, the reel. And you know that the film has to go in this way. So to have this centered, you see the long end is down on the bottom and the end without anything is on the top. So the long one goes on top. It has a notch. And you fit that in there. No, you don't. This notch, like a screwdriver slot, fits in. And then that'll engage in here. You put the short one down here. Okay, again, the short end goes in. There. Now you could lock that side. Not the easiest thing to do. Let me adjust this. So you open this up and then the long one goes on this side and the short one goes on this side. There's the short one. There's the long one. And now luckily this turns, so fitting it in will be easier. So you pull. That one goes right in. That's in. 
and now that is in. And the film is centered over the gate. Okay. All right. Now it's all done. So we close this and uh, Now the thing to do is to change this to 220 because it's a 36 roll and uh, it won't count far enough if you don't change it to 220. I see this is below zero. So now you start cranking it until it gets to where it should be started. That should be the first shot. I'm going to lock it. I'm going to put the 45 back on. 45 is really wide. And this is really wide, so that should be pretty interesting. I changed the pressure plate in the dark room to 220. This film does not have a paper backing, so you've got to change that. I just put my finger on that middle button and I held it real tight and I opened the door and I slid the back and that's still set at 220. All right, that's it basically. I have the viewfinder in here, and I have the uh, panoramic adapter in here, but you have to change this one to 220 in order to get the counter to work all the way up to 36 exposures, which as you know, this camera doesn't take 36 exposures, but these are going to be uh, six by seven so it'll be more you're going to need all of that 220 film to go through the counter you set your ASA it says 80 but I'm going to change it to uh, 30 or 40 I'm going to use a light meter anyway so that doesn't matter and uh, we'll see what I come up with I set the ISO or the ASA in the little white window to a notch above 32 or 40 ASA. The film speed should be faster than the length of the lens. So that's a 45, so the speed of the lens should be on 60 at least for hand holding. Now I'm sure, or it's ready, I'm sure it's ready.